Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. Sagittarius, for those of you who are new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button, smash the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you would love to join our live sessions, if you have some personal questions, you may do so. You're very much welcome. Um, all you just need to do is to click the notification bell so that when I go live, you will be notified. If in case that you didn't catch me live, you can always ask me questions 24-7. There is a link in the description box. Click the link. You will be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. And if you resonate with the reading and want to book a personal reading, there is a link in the description box. All right. Let's start with your reading with some with a with, with a positive message. You're probably fearing the asking for love. Probably fearing that. Your person's not going to be faithful with you, not going to love you. There is a sense here of a broken trust. Let's say that your person probably did something wrong in the past. But the universe is also telling you to believe in their promise believe that people can change for the better believe that the offer is genuine overthinking makes you lose the essence of having fun you know you it, you should enjoy the present moment but instead of enjoying it, you're probably thinking about a future, which is also okay. But overthinking, you're way beyond, you know, um, and you tend to really forget about the moment. When it comes to your relationship, universe is telling you that you are guided the person may not be perfect and so do you but they want you to know is that whatever the person says promised or the agreement they're gonna do it um, your spirit guides, the universe, your guardian angel is really there for you. You're not alone in this journey. This third card may be a little straightforward for some. Um, this is general, right? Uh, take what only yours. Mm. You look like a show. You're a hot mess. That's a fact. Clean yourself up. I think that this is the overthinking, right? This is becoming jealous for things that do not have evidence. Um, it may be for you, it may be for the person, right? Kind of oh, one person here is a drama king, drama queen, right? Always making a scene. And that messes up the relationship. That's very straightforward. Sagis, you may be person A or person B. Cross watchers, you're welcome to watch the reading. Person A already 
said their piece, right? And, or, or for some, they're about to. Either a confession that they love you or you love them, right? Person A is about to confess or already confessed the emotion. But the thing here is there's history with person B, right? Um, or history with person A, rather. History of betraying the trust. History of a player. There was a separation, you know. Person B, just forgive person A. But person A already made an oath that I'm going to change. I promise to focus in the connection. Person B do not want to believe person A anymore. They're observing, <clears throat> yes. However, I cannot blame person B because there's already a history. But the thing here is, just my question, then why would person B stay in? Because there's an attempt here that person A is going to change. Person B said it. I mean, person A said it. I'm going to change. When it's already in front of person B, they don't want to believe it. Now, person A kind of, what do you need me to do? Right? I don't know what to do anymore. I already exerted an effort. Maturity is with me. And now I'm having some fear that your trust is not going to be, uh, you're not go going to give me the trust. I already paid for it. Um, I already said my piece. I am sorry. Right? Probably for a few numbers of you, you're still separated with this person. The promise is genuine. All, I, I think person B just need to trust the process, believe in person A, forgive person A, believe that person B deserves the love of person A. It's a matter of Believing in love again. Again, my question here is why person B stay in if they don't love person A? Now it's being offered the question is I, I, I think that we need some clarification with person B, right? Because person A here do not know what to do anymore um they have already proven everything that they can it's just the truth i mean the truth was already said it's just the forgiveness and the faith is needed with person b so the signs that I'm seeing in here could be a placement in your chart, your person's sun sign, or a placement in their chart. Taurus, Sagittarius, um, Leo, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces is dominant, Taurus as well, um, Aries is here. This is your reading, love and light to you. Namaste and see you tomorrow. Goodbye.